Hi, this is Eric Redlinger from TenBeast Tea Interactive in New York, and today I'm going to show you some of the cool things you can do with DropCopy Mobile on your iPhone. So let's start by launching DropCopy on our iPhone. You'll see that we kept the black hole metaphor from the desktop version, even though dragging and dropping isn't really a natural thing to do on the iPhone. But on the mobile version, it is still the way that you access most of the features. And you'll notice that we kept um, a lot of the functionality from the desktop version for this mobile version with some handy shortcuts to get just your files and to adjust your preferences. So, for instance, I can get the clipboard from any machine on my network. I'm going to grab the one from my tower right here. It comes in, you see the text or a preview of that text. I can save it to disk, I can save it to my own clipboard on the iPhone, which means I can then um, paste that clipboard into an email message or use it however I want. Right now I'm going to save it to disk. And I can use, I can do some of the messaging features that we have in Drop Copy for the desktop. So I'm going to send that message also to the tower. And I'll show you in a second what it looks like when it comes in on the tower. So, but the crux of using Drop Copy on your mobile device is being able to take your files with you from the desktop machine or from your laptop onto the mobile phone, view those files, transfer them to other mobile devices, or back to another computer at some point. So let's go to transfer files. You see we have, um, since this is a new install, we have just the README. Uh, which uh, is, is installed, and we have that message that we just saved. Now, in this file browser view, I have different categories. Drop Copy will sort incoming um, files according to the categories that it uh, identifies below to help you out. And in each row, you have several options. If I click anywhere on this row, it'll assume that I want to send that file to another Drop Copy client. If I click over here on the little preview badge, it assumes that I want to do a quick look on that file, meaning give me a preview of its contents. And if I click over here, these are more options, uh, and that's a contextual menu related to the type of file that's in, uh, in that row. So for instance, for this text file, I have this little text file, the README, I can um, view it full screen. and um, and I can do various things with that. Of course, this is not an image, so there's not uh, a lot we can do here. Uh, with images, you have a lot more options, such as being able to save it to your photo roll or, um, or other things like that. But you can email it, uh, and you can just use the regular drop copy feature to send it to another device. So I'm going to take that text file. I can choose a custom destination, which means I can put an IP number of a machine somewhere on the internet, or um, drop copy will show me the machines on my local area network that are running drop copy. So I'm going to send it again to my tower, and it's that easy. Now, if you're watching this, you probably know what drop copy looks like on the Mac, but I'm just going to show you um, how to initiate the process from your Mac. So let's assume that you've launched drop copy on the iPod or on the iPhone, and that obviously has to be running in order for this to work. Um, it will just go by default into a mode where it's waiting for files to arrive or for waiting for you to do something. So I'm going to take a file here that I have on my desktop. It's an image file of my uh, music group. And you see here, these are the other drop copy users on my network. This one uh, is my iPhone. It has a little iPhone badge. And I'm going to drop it on that. And this is quite a high resolution image. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time to send over. There we go. So you see the file has arrived. Um, Drop Copy has made a little thumbnail of it over here. I can click on that. It gives me a little preview. Um, as usual, I can make this go full screen. I can use all of the, the normal features of the iPhone. And uh, I have a few more options here. I can add this image to the camera roll. So now it'll be available uh, in the normal iPhone application for viewing images. And I can email that file to myself or to someone else. So that shows some of the things you can do with mobile drop copy 
for the iPhone and iPod Touch available today on the App Store, $5, and I've only scratched the surface of how cool this app is.